Giving people another chance, Connecticut's clean slate law took effect January 1st, and it's already erased 44,000 low-level cannabis convictions. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live right now at the state capitol with a closer look at what all this means for those involved. Susan. Mark, there are some who will say this is giving people a second chance, but there are others who say it's really a first chance because with a conviction, there are many barriers to things like jobs and housing. And the hope is that the clean slate bill will allow people the opportunity to move forward with their lives. Connecticut has taken another step, first towards decriminalization, then legalizing, and now erasing low-level cannabis convictions. Folks are going to have a little one less barrier to overcome in order to get back on their feet. Governor Lamont was at the Greater Hartford Reentry Welcome Center, where inmates released from prison get help finding a job and housing. Senator Gary Winfield pushed for the clean slate law. Many of us have done things that if we had been in a slightly different situation, somebody would have recognized that thing we did and we wouldn't be standing here doing the great things we're doing today. It has nothing to do with who we are today. Winfield says once incarcerated, that person is always treated as a criminal. The likelihood of that person securing that place to live is, is low, especially compared to someone without a criminal history. Jason Miller is getting his life together. He's getting another chance after spending years locked up. I'm more than happy. I'm blessed by God to be getting a, uh, another opportunity, so I thank God every day. While those 44,000 will have their records erased, an even larger group will have to wait several months. Coming up in Eyewitness News at 6, why the delay? And a community leader shares his thoughts on what this will mean for his community. We are live at the State Capitol in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.